Shalom Rastafari. Greetings. A very special, extra special Shabbat coming forward. The third and the fourth. So please get ready and prepare for that special Shabbat. And due to the special Shabbat, which is for Yom Kippur, right, or the Yom Kippur for this 2014 um, year, this um, new year, Ethiopically, 7507, short count, um, 2007. Hebrew, 5775 year since Rosh Hashanah. And we still are in the days that are known as the the 10 days of uh, awe, right? The 10 days of awe, which are actually 10 days of, 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 of repentance, right? Of, of repentance, right? Of um, being unconformed to the world and being transformed by the renewing of I and I mind. Thus, therefore, the, the reading and feedings in the word and in his word, and but it mainly begins with our, with our adoption, with our, our sonship, right? As uh, John chapter, John chapter one, lays it out very, very good for us. And we just want to go over this again, as well as uh, show you a little bit of what's on the calendar, right? What's on the calendar for this season. So the the last of the 54 Torah portions, readings and feeding, take, take note of this, brothers and sisters, will not be the third and fourth coming forward, but will be actually on the 11th, right, would actually be on the 11th on the following, right, the Shabbat or the Sabbath, right, for the 11th, which will be the 11th of October, right, and that's the 54th Torah portion, which is known as uh, Vezot Ha Baraka or Vezot Ha Baraka, and this is the blessing, Yebarek, Yebarek Bat. Barakat Yehichnat in the Orit or the Torah of Kedemah, we have the Salasi, I and I, God, Father, and King of Kings. Or, and this is the blessing. So that 54th Torah portion reading and feeding is not for the third, fourth coming forward. The third, fourth coming forward is a, a very special Shabbat because this Shabbat, as was the Meskel, Right, you know, the Meskel, which is the finding of the true cross, the 27th of uh September, and that was like a triple fold. There was a, there was there, there was a there was a there was a trinity to that. Both it was a Shabbat day, then it was the finding of the true cross, and as I and I Wendem Wendem Yasun um had reminded the disciples and the brothers and sisters with on discipleship, the DSR. Um, and to heal up the Wendemoch, the Brethren, the Discipleship Radio. You can actually check that out. Um, find the links on the RTG, the Rastafari Groundation, and you can listen to the previous from the 27th, from the 27th winners to Overdrive as well. With that is the, the Crown Prince ship right of Rastafari right and we want to touch on that as well you know there's just so much blessing but we have to keep our eyes stayed on heat right so what is coming forward right so what is coming forward is a very special Shabbat right this very special Shabbat let's show show um our updated uh calendar right here let's take a look at this right here right Right, so let's take a look at this right here. All right, here is the calendar, right? So we can know, you know, the significant times and seasons, right? The times and seasons, right? And why are these times and seasons very important? Because we are that people. Once lost, but now found data is Israel, 
as well as the righteous from amongst the Gentiles. This is very important. He has, he has ordained these times, right, for those who are in his will and those who are faithful to him, right, those who are in a faith-based covenant to him will keep faith with him as well. So we have, begins off the beginning of the year, some say is Passover, but there's a couple of new years, if you would overstand it, but that's a, that's a more detailed teaching. We're right here, trumpets Rosh Hashanah, right? That was Rosh Hashanah, the trumpets. You can see the vids on that, right? Then atonement. This is where we're at right now with atonement, right? Then we have uh, tabernacles, right? Tabernacles or, or Sukkot, right? Or Yadas Ba'al, tabernacles or ingathering. Right? Then we have what's called the Shemeni Atzeret, right? or the last great day, or that eighth day. And that's connected with the Simchat Torah. And this will be on the 16th, the eve of the 16th to the eve of the 17th. So let's go through this right here so we'll be able to, you know, um, put this together for this year, this, this season, this special season. Right, and there's so much barakat, there's so much blessing. But before the blessing, before we can receive that blessing, right, we have to first of all receive his atonement, right? That at one meant, right? That at one meant. So we have to know well, what is the reason for the season? I think we have this over here. I was actually going to touch on this before. Now, we don't use this particular cross. So, brothers, I think uh, I and I resident um, graphics, right? This cross is not the cross we use, right? We love everything else about it because it's tight with the word, right? It's really in the word and the truth, right? Maybe some of the images that Hebrew for Christians utilize is not the particular images that we will use. So, um for obvious reasons, but the, the word, right, and the overstanding of both the, the Hebrew, right, or the old covenant into the new is so very important for us. So here's what we're at on, here's what we're at on the cycle, right? Right down here, trumpets, New Year's, Rosh Hashanah, atonement, right, Yom Kippur, the Suryet Ken. This is what's coming up the 3rd and the 4th of October. The 3rd, the 4th of October. So I and I is announcing to I and I Rastafari Hebrew and the Rastafari Church of the Firstborn, announcing the Yom Kippur. So first there must be that atonement before the Baraket, before there is the blessing. Right? And it's a very beautiful teaching when we see how he's already... Um, foreseen these things for us and how we're in this time where all of it is, is coming together, right? All of it's being fulfilled, both things in, in heaven and on earth. So we go over the 53rd Torah portion, Ha'azinu, Adimtu, right? Where heaven, right, and earth is being called to witness, right? And the Joel, Euel's prophecy, right? Uh, the moon being turned into blood and, and the sun not giving her light. And we know that there is a solar, right? There's a solar eclipse actually coming up, right? In the Babylonian Western Gentile New Year. We're already in the New Year. Notice that we are the head, right? Not the tail. So if we are in him. He has called us to be the head and not the tail. But if we apostate from him, and remain in the curses for disobedience, then we come under the curses, right? So first there must be atonement, right? First there must be atonement before there is blessing. And if there is no atonement, right, in spirit and in truth, then there is no blessing, but there's curse, or ones remain under and within the curse, the curses for disobedience. So we really have to overstand this as redeemed Beta Ethiopian Hebrew Israelites. We have to overstand 
the way, the truth, and the life of the King of Kings in Christ. Because once we come to that overstanding, we'll see how much Abba Father has already done for us, how much he has loved us, right? And how truly he has fulfilled his word to us according as he has promised us. Amen. Amen. So there's an extra special, right? This is the high, you know, they call this the high holy days. This is, this is one of the holiest seasons and the holiest times for us. It's a metasebia, right? It's a memorial. Now, we did a video previous to this, so we went into a little more detail, but we had a little extra time on this. And um, we said, let's go into this a little more in detail, right? And let's just go over a couple of main things right here. Right. And a couple of the main things that we want to go through right here is that he, right, who is the Moshia, who is the Messiah, who is our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMoshia, Jesus Christos Getachin, he came to his own and his own received him not because it's a free will. Right. If one is is, is, is willing to hear or forbear. Right? But as many as received him, to them gave he power, which is the authorization, the Ivine or the divine, Melukotawi Sultan, right? to become the sons, the B'nai Ha Elohim, right? the B'nai Ha Elohim, even to them that my men admit on his name, on Shimo. Right, or Simu, right, on his name, Beshem Yeshua, in the name of Yeshua, Besime Iesus, in the name of Iesus, which were born not of blood, right, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of Ha Elohim. And then the incarnation, the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst I and I. So we have to be in his word and the readings and the feedings for the Yom Kippur readings are very, very important. So when you go to the website, the Rastafari Groundation in this time, in this season right here, you'll find that the regular weekly Torah portion readings, right, are not there. The 54th is coming up for the 11th. So put that on your schedule as well, the 11th. That's where the blessing, the Vezot Ha Baraka, Ha Baraka, right? Or Ye Barakabat, Baraket, Ye Hichnat, right? So in the Mark Saryet Ken, right? Forgiveness, cancella cancellation of the debt, right? Cancellation of debt, debt cancellation, Ivine debt cancellation. Right, which will bring also Ivine blessing, Ivine Baraka, Ivine Baraket. Right? But here's the key. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Ab, the only begotten of the Abba, full of grace and truth. Full of grace and and truth. So Wendemoch Ehitoch, please get prepared for this season. Right? Prepare your hearts and your minds for this season. And there's some very important readings and feedings. You know, I and I, I would love to go through all of this and just share what he has given I with the eye. But right now I share this word. I share this um special Shabbat call. Yom Kippur, we're about to fulfill these 10 days, right? Fulfilling these 10 days of awe and come to that time, right? That time for I and I hearts and I and I minds to remember, to give thanks and praise and to stand, right? To stand before him. Hello? So the first thing we need is to get that understanding, then meditate on that. Ask him for wisdom, right? Ask him for the Ruach HaKadosh. Ask him for the Holy Spirit. Ask Abba Father in the name of Yeshua for the Holy Spirit. So you can get that understanding and come to that 
overstanding so that I and I may stand together on holy Mount Sion, on holy Mount Zion. So brothers and sisters, once again, Shalom Ras Tefari. This is Wendem Yadin, and I approve of this message. May Yah, Abba Father, in the name of the Moshiach, also approve of this message. So stay tuned, more to come. Shalom Ras Tefari.